It's time, friends, leaders, citizens of the New Eden Republic. It's time again, we've expanded massively, and now it's time to win this strange war against the Mammoth Tree Entity. Just to roll over everywhere, that's our goal. Uh, we're not going to take any plans, we're just going to roll over the Polysimus Galactic Commonwealth if we can. And then we're going to roll over something else, because that's the most fun to do. And so we're just going to do that. Here we go. Roll over Beethoven. And while doing that, we're expanding on every one of these new planets that is there. Ah, that's so great. And it was not 11, it was like there's something else here. I think there's, yeah, that's 15 or something like that. Because there's four others here. They have also been added and we are in great shape. Waiting again for more and more and more influence. Why so much influence? Because we want to buy a mega, build a mega structure. And now uh, you can do that. Build that research station, will you? The Strike for Cerberus. Uh, nah, we'll rename the fleet. We'll rename them Make Haste. Research actualized. And it should hurry around and do stuff like killing pirates. Immanuel Kahn II has leveled up, which is very nice for us. Skill 9 is, is not a, nothing to sneeze at. We've got better energy weapons now, and uh, I think that's... Let's continue that line for now. I'm going to have great deeds ready very soon. We're here, let's just go, let's see where we should move. And maybe into that direction, I'm not really sure. Ooh. Well, let's take that on first, all of that, that's fine. We'll just move over, we'll see what happens. There's some movement around here. And actually, they've got problems. Which is why we should try to get over there and then uh, make our influence better. Let's see what we can do. I mean, there's a lot of only very small opponents, which means that in theory we could just leave that be to go and roam other systems we can try that i think it's basically riskless and so we're gonna do that hmm, the bayern armada is maybe healing we don't know yet you know we've also introduced utopian abundance and look at this we need to stay together there's three fleets of the mammoth tree entity entering our turf I'm going to fly over there. Every one of us. Here we go. And see if we can catch that thing that is so terrifying. Research actualized. That's a good amount of their fleets. Heat recyclers, though, gives us better strike craft. And we will... I don't know. We'll just develop a little bit more strike craft for these battleship improvements. later on look they're moving around maybe taking shinistra but not so much there's a peringo fleet moving back hmm we'll see what we can do in that direction but we actually want some confrontation and we will have that in time at least in time hmm, they're gobbling up this one and then there's actually you know what let's go back here we're not needed. Even though we are needed. I mean, this is just terrible. <sighs> yeah, let's do it like that. Need to move over there. 
and then take control of the situation. That seems the best thing we can do, and that's the thing we, we're gonna do, actually. Now, let's sell some minerals again, and some food. Here we go. We're really in a, in a great shape here. Still, even with all the new colonies coming under utopian abundance. It also affects us oh so negatively. I mean, it's it, it's not only the basic income, like social welfare policy. It's not the universal basic income. It's basically the luxury for everyone income. You'll get a new Xbox from the, from the state or a new PDX box. You never know where you can play Stellaris all day. That's the way. That's the way. And then you're a synthetic entity and nothing hurts you. You can just repair yourself. You don't have to rely on, on some strange systems that require constant attention. Now there's the screwdriver medicine. Upscaling right? complete. Uh, what's going on? Another research lab. We've got something here. We're in the fine situation. Let's see. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Where's our fleets even now? Uh, we must move back because this is not going to work out here. Look at this. How the mammoth tree entity is controlling the battlefield is just outright ridiculous. We have to do something against that. It's, uh, it's not sufficient what we're doing. All will die. The lament of the women, uh, of the synthetic women. Okay, hold this. What's going on here? Who's moving around here? Mm, 110k. An interesting fleet. We'll move to at least this one now. And then we will start to take over. What is this thing? I think it was... Colonial Enterprise oh, Upsizing. Interstellar Assembly. Hmm. Colonial Enterprise Upsizing. Very good. Look, look at that. Look at that. It starts. It begins. We have we've ordered so many ships and now Research they're actualized. finally arriving. Synapse interceptors, strike craft damage plus 10%, increasing the speed of these tiny little things will help us a lot. And of course also the strike craft attack speed. That is that is pretty clear since D and D that repeatable actions need to be simple and effective, and that is both I think. That ranged weapon. Mm. Oh, look at this! There's so much red, and we can now thanks to the. The Peringo and their world wonder, we can see every fleet and every troop on the planet. Maybe that has uh, made the Suivan so that they t they're ticking out. Research actualized. Know. Hey there. Hey, 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 hey. Two, nine. Mm. Oh, we should be fine. Here we go. Flush coolant energy. Colonial yeah. enterprise upsizing. That was what we wanted, and now let's go more here. And here we go great shape we are and we're nearing the point where we can maybe maybe build something else again 
And that should be possible because the, the really the boys are really also piling up now. Hmm. We've got really enough construct ships. So we can buy the, build a thing anywhere, but I think we want it like basically now backyard. But it's kept for the royal family. And whoever wants to visit them has to visit <laughs> the family first, right? Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Oh yes. This is cool. This is cool. Who's in combat? Woo! The Saber's fleet. Are you coming now? Or what? What's going on? The Strike Force Thoughtful Gamers is there too. Ooh, where are we? Yes, here, here. Wow, it's the it's the confrontation that we've been waiting for. One of the big ones, one of the great ones. What's going on there? Is the Stellar Rectrix coming or what? No orders? Are you kidding me? This is not great. This is really bad. Ha, huh, Carolis is not moving fast enough, but these guys are. Let's see how they do. Got the mixed fleet and we've got the covet fleet. Bam. Let's see how this works out for us. Ooh. Now there's more ships coming. More ships coming in. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Woo, I don't even know what happens there. But there's a Titan doing its thing. The fronds of black are hopefully dying out and... Yes, actually, yes. We have done it. George Roy leveled up. Uh, Niding has leveled up as well on the Eden Wanderer. Okay. Mm. Let's just continue our ways now. Uh, but where are we gonna go for with our fleets? Maybe take the that thing the, the capital at the side and then we'll go back and bring them out to their the, the, to their earlier interstellar accord I mean, in a rare future, probably we'll also have psionic leaders sometime, or leaders that are half machine. We don't know. It's basically, random if you get some things, at least in our world. The mega art installation for for the it's for the visitors. out again uh, they defeated another smaller Research fleet actualized. attack speed for the tiny ones let's add more damage so we're clear that there's more then we need we could buy something maybe what would be useful oh really nothing much um i mean if we must if we must we're gonna just buy the the rarest stuff and then sell 
here from the mines. Look at this, it's like... <laughs> oh, what's going on here? No, uh, on Shapara we have some really fierce crime. Not on the Shun... Ktik. Hmm... So... Just gonna fly out with a fleet to protect our... Good economists, ecologists. They all have a right to live. Freedom for all and... Uh, Also more alloys. Alloys is also kind of often the limiting factor in this. And thankfully, in, with a new Sharper planet, that probably has stopped a lot. Let's see. Um, there's some things here. More declared. Oh well, oh well, oh well. See, I'm kind of struggling. Not with the game, though. <laughs> I'm kind of tired right now. What is that? The, the coronavirus was the Slavian regime? Mm, that's not going to work out. Uh, these are going to work out. And you... Democratic Force for Freedom. You're not needed down there. Rather, the migration treaty between these two makes them a lot harder to fight. So we might have to fight early. I think we're going to call it a day, as you haven't heard me talk, heard me talking. But let's have a look at all of this that's going on there. So many fleets, and many of them are even. Why do we have a fleet here? Oh look, it's our new fleet. It's the fleet from. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. <sighs> it's the fleet from the sharper consciousness. Now we finally found them. And what's going on here? That's another fleet from the merchants of Nkre. And this is that the merchants of Nkre. That's the Pamslavic Commonwealth member of our federation. Woo! We must protect them. Maybe with these. I'm really not sure. We'll see how that works in the future. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.